，欢迎嚟到美港天下。Nelson， <笑>、哎<笑>啊、我我我我哋而家去咗边度啊？我唔知道地址，参与嘅。我哋而家喺个参与嘅 event 啦，咁咧就话好晒，九几多度啊？一百度。起碼啦，嚇、啊！我細到都，我都睇唔，其實我睇唔到個 screen 啊，細到嚇！誒，睇下仲有邊個喺度？佢喺度講緊乜嘢？係係。Hello， 嚇、啊！ Chinese， 啊，美港天下，廣東話。誒，美港天下，各位好，大家好，新訊同大家見面。我哋依家，我哋依家咧就喺 Coachella， 你哋去睇下秋夜啦。咁我哋揸咗兩個幾鐘嚟啦。咁啊，非常之熱，非常之熱。我哋出咗車之後咧，呢度就，哇！我依家。大家睇唔到啊！我個牛仔褲咧，個後面小腿咧係曬住啦，依家好似煎緊牛排咁。係啊，咁就誒、啊嗯，我哋依家睇個人行啦，因為我哋依家要到呢一個穿梭巴士，就係、是、誒、呃、揸去個會場。嗰<笑>個會場咧就係、是、誒、uh, Capone Ranch。I think that's how it's pronounced. And 誒、um, ，但嗰度係四點五里遠，咁我哋誒、呃、排隊，如果大家睇到條人影咧，我壓目測起碼四個半鐘以上，先至可以成功。佢哋，除非佢哋依家班多啲車過嚟啦。哦、oh, ，OK。佢如果班多啲車嚟咧，就好啲咯。如果呢個時候，如果唔係嘅話咧，我睇唔到。而家你睇唔到。OK 啦 ，OK 啦，嚇 ，OK 啦，嚇 ，OK。而家幾多點啊？三點。三點幾啊？而家兩點半。而家兩兩點半。我睇可能要入落，我哋先至入到佢。OK， 我而家同大我去兜個圈。哇，好远啊！我行咗几耐啊，先行到嚟呢度翻嚟吓。唔好意思啊，咁你又唞下凉先。啊，跟住而家点解有两条队咁嘅？唔系两条队，咁样乜嚟乜去咧，就多啲地方避避阴顶啊！呢度。哦。我哋 S 型啊，呢度。哦，呢度 S。S 咗喺呢个喺呢个阴里。哦 ，good good good，OK。系咁啊，咁啊，有冇啲咩回应啊？有冇嘢补充啊？系有咩补充啊？啊，我哋依家。就係啊！我哋咁睇，起碼我我都係四十鐘啦。我哋都唔係最後啦，依家我哋後面仲多咗好多人。好啊！咁咧啊，確定咗三架三架 school bus 啊！呢、這個係華視攝氏即係幾多啊？啊，攝氏三十七。系啊，呢个系，诶呢个摄氏七十七。系啊，吓、啊，话事就百几啦。吓、啊，百几啦，吓、啊。啊啊啊！百几啊？系咁上下啦，吓，三十七度啦，总之。三十就八十六。吓 ，OK。三十五咧就九十五。系啊，同埋话俾佢哋知，我哋系响 Coachella。依家。冇错。依家應該哦九啊九度，哦九啊九度 ，OK 啦，九啊九嚇。不過曬住就熱啲嘅出邊，曬住係一百度咯，係唔止嘅。頭、嗯、先已經見到啲誒、呃、消防車出動啦，嗰啲應該急救嗰啲出咗啦。你六點入到你啊，六百七度啊，今晚。哦，係啊。六點啊。係咯。所以好凍。三樂地區係咁啊，呢度。係啊。係啊，三樂地區嚇、啊、就係、是。嗰、那個分別成卅度啊！唔知咧，唔知喎。嗰度啊，龍尾咯，嗱呢段啊，嗰處龍頭喺嗰個消防車嗰邊啊。係啊，龍尾嗰度啊。係啊，哇！ Form 
I don't think it's that hot. I don't know. 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 我想是有些在我們的位置 歡迎來到美港先啊 現在我用Selfie 差不多 2 我相信Trump其實是贏了 就是我想Two-digit的選舉人票 現在已經四年之後了 這個演說克服這個艱難這個
俾人哋睇咧，真係實實在在真係有幾多人咧？大家記得留意，記得睇。係係係，即係咁樣。其實有一樣嘢就係、是、你哋變咗咧，你唔會俾、呃、假新聞啊，去去呃咗你啊。咁我哋嘅報導都係基於事實嘅嘛，我哋嗰啲。乜直播冇得呃嘅，係嘛？係係係，又唔係 AI， 全部啲。所以咧，我哋啲片啊，係最值得你哋去啊分享嘅。所以幫手留言、分享、點贊，多謝大家。同埋做假根本冇意思啦！如果做假，我哋又唔使千辛萬苦誒揸、呃、兩粒半鐘車出嚟，跟住曬三粒幾鐘，跟住誒、呃，即係。我哋唔相信方言啦、啊、咁依家 A.I. 時代乜都做得㗎啦嘛。係啊，不過我哋嗰啲全部堅持。咁大家去幫我哋、uh, share、like、uh,、subscribe 我哋嘅 YouTube、Facebook、uh,、Rumble、uh,、X， 咁就 stay tuned 啦、啊。我哋、啊、有啲朋友都嚟唔到添啊，嚟到門口都要走啊。係啊係啊係啊係啊，我哋係啊我哋，因為,因為真係真係好真係好多人。係係係好。多精力嘅，你即係係好難得嘅機會，但係亦都係好辛苦嘅。好辛苦嘅出嚟，係啊，但係我覺得係值得嘅，因為咧你諗下，佢兩次啊爭啲死喎，係咪？佢兩次爭啲死嘅啦，但係都冇事啦。咁我今次我嚟到呢度，我哋點解有呢個機會呢？都去去蒲下頭啦，叫做。嚇、啊！做、啊、我哋嘅 support， 我哋做我哋嘅 support， 咁我覺得係值得嘅，我覺得係值得嘅。雖然係真係好辛苦，我抽筋啊！我本來一隻腳抽筋，而家兩隻腳都抽筋啦。哦，嚇、啊！終於抽筋啦！嚇、啊！而家你算皮到抽筋啦，算、啊、算 less 啦，算係啊！我哋上次醫師又係皮到抽筋嚇。咁、啊、每次咧，其實咧好多我哋我哋冇糧吹嘅大佬，要搞清楚一樣嘢啊！嚇、啊！我哋咁我哋冇飯嚇。我係啊，冇糧出，冇糧出，個個呢度啊，個個都係自己咧，甘願咧嚟支持我哋呢個總統啦。係係係，所以即係唔可以話我哋係嗰啲叫做咩 cult 係嘛？啊啊啊！因為即係邪教。係我哋我哋我哋原因，我哋有根有基，有根有有有有根有據啊嘛，支持呢個總統，唔係因為食咗迷藥嚇走去支持呢個總統。事實呢個總統佢做咗啲嘢出嚟，係俾我哋見到，你就睇下佢做咗好多添啊！佢佢而家佢而家一日兩場啊跑，係啊係啊，日理萬機啊！係嘛？你話你見何錦禮喺邊啊？係嘛？同啲假新聞喺度吹水啊又係嘛？咁我哋咁而家問題就係、是、咧，我哋需要咧講廣東話中文嘅人咧嚟攞我哋啲資料，喺我哋嘅 channel 攞資訊。就唔好淨係喺 BCC 啊，譬如 BBC 啊，啊 A 啊啊 Associated Press 啊，我哋嗰啲地方攞資訊，因為嗰啲資訊準確㗎，嗰啲資訊假㗎。咁、啊、我我 X 我哋呢邊啦，咁、啊、周圍咧好多已經有好多真嘅資訊，根本而家我哋個證。有少少難控制。係，我我唔係，嗯，知唔係好聽使，我放大唔到啊。我放大到啦，終於都。我。啲起重機嗱，你揾阿 Trump 就揾阿起重機啦，兩支起重機喺嗰度。係啊，起重機掛住支美國旗噶嘛，佢就會企喺嗰度噶啦。第二，我諗最近啊，依家係最近。係啊，你書面都冇。係係係，咦？係啊，係啊。卡蘇瓦你好 ，Sarah 你好。咁咧，誒、呃，星期初嗰陣時咧，阿鄭人收到消息就話一定要嚟，一定要嚟。咁我聽到咧都話，唉，我一聽就已經係 seven hour of work 噶，真係係好係個初嚟，我覺得好辛苦嘅。咁但係 Dennis 話咁難得佢嚟咗加州呢個超南州喎，一定要 show 啲 muscle 俾啲對家睇嘅。咁呢，即係老虎蟹都嚟啦，咁樣咁抽筋都要嚟啊！咁就睇下先，準備出㗎啦，準備出啊！咁好啦，睇下先，我就報道到呢度啦。好，陣間再見，拜拜。好啦，啲人要落車啦，起身落車啦，起身落車啦，就嚟停車啦。好，拜拜。
。哇 ，Hello， 大家好。啊，終於可以入到嚟，我哋呢、這個嚇、啊、現現場啦。你知？我哋就等咗三個半鐘頭排隊，排咗三個半鐘頭，跟住而家呢，就開始。英文啊 ，OK， 啊啊，三上而家去，你你係 live Facebook live，OK，、okay. 我哋 Facebook live 啊，我係嘗試啊 YouTube 啦，不過都係都係唔係好得，所以而家呢，就錄影，我而家錄影緊嚇。They say, "Well, they'll make the border tough." How about she said, "Oh, we had a good border bill, but Trump talked Congress out of it." I didn't talk anybody out. The bill was defective; it was terrible. Millions of people would have come in and would have been made citizens. But that's not the point. The point is, they slowed it down so the numbers looked a little bit better. Not much. But what they didn't do is stop airplanes from pouring in with thousands of people. Hundreds of thousands of people a year are flown into the middle of our country. In other words, they're sick, and that's what they want. That's their policy. You know, they were trying to convince us. Yes, all of a sudden she said, "Yes, we can do it." For three and a half years, think of this. She was saying the other day, "Yes, oh yes, we can do it." I bought it. Well, the first time she ever said it, she almost threw up when she said it. But the numbers were looking very bad for her. The poll numbers. She was getting crowds. She was getting crowds. And then all of a sudden she said, "No, no, we'd like to have a wall. We'd love to have a wall." Remember me? I said, "Wall." And Mexico did pay for it. You know, they gave us thousands and thousands of soldiers. They paid war. Remember, because there was no vehicle for them. They just want to set the record straight. Because they wouldn't do that. We got thousands of Mexicans patrolling our border, free from the charge. They sent to the head of Mexico, the president, a very good guy, very. He's a socialist, but there's a lot of details. I said to him, President, you have to give us 28,000 soldiers to patrol our border. Oh, do not, do not, I will not do that. Oh, you will do that, I promise you. No, 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 I will not. Yes, you will. He goes, no way. And I said, way. And then I said, you know, he's a good guy. He's a friend of mine. He just left the office. He's good. Good guy. But he, you know, he's. Why would he do that? He would do that only if we had leverage, and we do have leverage because we're the pot of gold. We won't be the pot of gold for long if we have idiots like we're talking about coming in and running things. We won't be a pot of gold for long, let me tell you. But he said to me, "No, we won't do that." I said, "So I said, here's what you do. I don't want to be talking to you, my friend. I don't want to embarrass you with the negotiation. Have your negotiator, please, your top guy, come and see me." So they came in. Thank you over there. I can't even see him. It's so far away. Thank you very much. 
They probably can't hear us, so they might as well get into the act, because it is far away. This place is, this is crowded. But just to finish the story, so I said, the guy comes in, wearing the most beautiful suit I've ever seen. In fact, I wanted to say, who's your tailor? But it wouldn't be a good negotiation. I walked in to talk about soldiers on the border. I said, who's your tailor? It didn't work. So he walks in, handsome guy, beautifully tailored. And I said, no, we want you to give us 28,000 soldiers for our border free of charge. And he laughs at me. Sort of the State Department woman, very good, 25 years she's worked on Mexico. She says, sir, they'll never do that. I said, yes, they will, 100%. He said, no. I said, yes. He said, no. I said, yes. <laughs> I said, here's what I'm doing. I'm signing an order. Every freaking car that you sell into the United States is going to have a 50% tariff. And every piece of merchandise you sell into the United States, starting on Monday morning, this was a Friday evening, We'll have a tariff of 25 yes. to 50 percent. Yes. We'll make a tremendous profit over and above the cost to you. He said, "May I have a minute, sir?" And call somebody. I said, "You're going to call the president." But yes, I am. Came back. I said, "Do me a favor. I'm very late. You know they're trying to impeach me, and I have to work at night." <laughs> he sleeps back. I've been under investigation more than Alphonse Capone. <laughs> and they considered me to be a great president. Nobody did what I did. Nobody. So what happens right. is this. So he comes back two minutes later. Sir, I'd like to report that it would be our honor to give you thousands of soldiers, sir. We would love to give them to you free of charge, sir. I said, thank you very much. Thank you very much. So we gave you. Mexico was a good contributor. I just wanted to set the record straight. You know? Remember when I said if they don't give, we're going to build the wall 10 feet higher. I was going to do that. <laughs> the massive cost of illegal immigration are now being experienced by communities all across the country and are destroying your children's education, their safety, and indeed their lives. Your children are in danger. They can't go to school with these people. These people are from a different planet. Kamala is turning us into a third world nation. That's what happened in San Francisco. When she was the DA of San Francisco, the things she did, she started that whole decline. With our victory, he says, Willie Brown. Who's, who's the guy? What? Stand up. <laughs> this can only happen in California. <laughs> I didn't say it. Remember that. He said it. What's that for you? He said it. He said it. You remember when a man, we're talking about this guy, Chris Christie, went off the reservation. And we have some people, and some guy shouts out to me, he's a fat pig, sir. <laughs> Nobody heard it but me, you know, but it was still, he said it. Sir, you should not call Chris Christie a fat pig, please. He is not a fat pig. You shouldn't, you're very rude, sir. We're going to have to throw you out if you do it again. He is not a fat pig. And you know what? The press has said, that's son of a gun. I couldn't even report this because I was defending. Because you're not allowed to use the word fat. You can use any word you can. You cannot call somebody fat. That's not allowed anymore. You know, you lose your job. You lose your life. With our victory, we'll, we are going to become, quickly, the greatest, strongest, freest, safest, and most powerful nation. close the border and I will stop the invasion of illegal criminals. And despite all of the damage that she has done to this state and to our nation in the past four years, she's the worst. Oh, she's Thank goodness she doesn't have much energy. She had real energy. She really went bad. Kamala Harris said this week, she can't think of one thing, not one thing, that she would do differently. Take a look, I'll show you a few. Would you have done something differently than President Biden during the past four years? 
There is not a thing that comes to mind. I stood there on the tarmac watching you check your watch. The chaotic and deadly U.S. evacuation from Afghanistan stunned Americans and the world and cost the lives of 13 U.S. soldiers. Would you have done something differently? There is not a thing that comes to mind. More than 13,000 illegal immigrants convicted of murder have been caught at the border and then released into the United States. An Afghan national is in custody today after being accused of plotting an election day terrorist attack. The suspect entered the U.S. on a special immigrant visa. Not mentioning new details of the murder of Georgia nursing student Lincoln Riley. The illegal immigrant suspect, who cops say committed the heinous murder, is a Venezuelan national who crossed the unsecured southern border back in 2022. Two men investigators say are in the country illegally from Venezuela are charged with capital murder and the death of Jocelyn Nungarai. A fifth illegal immigrant accused of attacking two New York City police officers over the weekend showed no remorse or regret. Would you have done something differently? There is not a thing that comes to mind. So the economy is in actual good condition. US inflation has hit a new 40-year high, increasing by 9.1% over the financial year. The cost of homes has spiked. Home buyers need to earn 80% more than they did in 2020 to afford a house. Were you the last person in the room? Yes. <laughs> Their whole campaign is based around the fact that she's not going to I was waiting, I was watching that one live, I gotta watch my it's part of my business, right? But I had to watch it, and I said, oh, this is gonna be a killer answer. You know, I saw the entire list of things yeah. that she did differently. Yeah, she said she that's what we get. The worst president in history, and she said she did Blocked I mean, That answer, oh. that she would do nothing differently is a totally disqualifying answer. It disqualifies her from running. Think of this, 86% of the country feels that we're on the wrong track and she's going to, can you imagine, 86% record of the country feels that we're on the wrong track. Yes, not that tell you something? Tell us we got a problem. I actually worry about the next three months, I really do. I worry about the next three and a half, four months, we'll end up in a world war because of this. People are and if you're on the wrong track by that amount, how can you keep someone who has stated plainly and clearly that she would do nothing, she would do nothing for fight? With your vote, I will act with urgency and speed to save America and to rescue the people of California from Kamala Harris. I will very quickly deplete. We are going to take inflation. the green line. We are going to deflate it. We are going to deflate it. Are you on the other side? We are going to defeat inflation. We're going to knock the hell out of inflation. We're going to use a thing that we have more of than anybody else. It's called liquid gold. Oil and gold. And we're going to make America affordable again. For all of the working people struggling under the highest tax state in the nation, we will have large tax cuts. Yes! Large tax cuts. No more tax on Social Security. And we will, buddy, no tax on tips. Yes! Yeah. No tax on overtime. Yes! Yeah. And no tax on Social Security benefits. Yeah. By contrast, Kamala is known as the taxi queen. She does the only election I've ever seen where they say we're gonna raise your taxes. Vote for me, I'm gonna raise your taxes on like seventy-two percent or something. And they're gonna end the Trump tax cuts. I gave you the largest tax cuts in the history of our country. Larger than the Reagan tax cuts. They're gonna end them. Add that to it. Her plan will raise taxes for the typical American family by more than $3,000 a year. She sucks! Two days ago, I also announced that we will make interest on car loans fully deductible. Whoa! Yeah! Because affording a car is essential to restoring the American dream. You know, we've lost the American dream in this country. Yeah. For our young people, they want the American dream. They want to have a great life. Like Elon Musk. Elon Musk. Oh, How good was he the other night? Did you see him? Oh, yeah. 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 
You know, he lives a reclusive I life, know. the life of a super genius. But he's rather <laughs> dark magazine. <laughs> 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 He's a hat. All black with black letters. It's called very subtle, right? You hardly even see. Make it very convenient. He fell in love with it and he wore it. I don't think he's taken it off in weeks. And I said, What is that? He said, It's dark MAGA. I said, I try to get my best. Anyway, he gave us the best endorsement. He endorsed me a few months ago. He said, if Trump doesn't win, it's I probably see. the end of our country. He yes. means that too. Yep. 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 And you know where he is today? He's campaigning in Pennsylvania. For That's <laughs> and I really think we won't have a country. Like that. Oh, he'll be. You know, really, I, I got involved I last week because, as you know, Biden and Harris have done a horrible job on North Carolina and some of the other ones. Yeah. Will take care of this. The first of the, the first of the hurricanes that came and really wiped out. Oh yeah, yeah that's as far as I can get. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 So we're wiped out here. All our lines are down. We have no power. We have absolutely no communication. We came to the mainland when the water was so high. Yeah. Oh, you did not know that. Landlocked. And he said, Do you know Elon Musk? And I said, Yeah, I do. What do you need? He said, We need Starlink. I said, What the hell is Starlink? I said, Elon, what the hell is Starlink? No, I said, What is Starlink? He said, Communication. Very good communication. So I called Elon. I said, Elon, they're in big trouble in North Carolina. They need Starlink, and you guys are they're doing so well with it. It's a very hard thing to get. So I said, You guys. Is there anything you can do? Because it's working. In the meantime, my phone rings and it's the guy from North Carolina thanking me, and I'm still on the phone with Elon. Said, Elon, what the hell did you do? You told them that you've got it before I even hung up. So he's on a different planet than us. So now, you were talking, and I was. <laughs> and he got it. He got him a lot of it. He got it. And I said to the people, "What's better, that or the hard line?" He said, "Actually, Starlink is better. <laughs> Starlink is better." But he's he's a great guy, and he's done a great job. And it's too bad that that Kamala didn't do this. I don't even know if she was. she's essentially not even gone there. Essentially, but what happened in North Carolina? And then Ron DeSantis has done a very good job in Florida. He didn't want her he was dealing with Biden. He didn't want her involved. I will also cancel Kamala's insane electric vehicle mandate. Isn't it crazy? You guys, you have brownouts, blackouts. California has brownouts and blackouts every weekend, every day. Yep. And now he says, let's go all electric cars. These people are crazy. <laughs> and you know, the, the thing is, that, and they're great, I like electric, but you know, they're for a certain market. You know the amazing thing with Elon? He makes a Tesla. Yeah. He's never, and he's a friend of mine. He has never called up and said, would you do me a favor? Would you lay the hell off the electric car? Because he understands. He's, been, he's got a great market. It's a smart market. It's a more expensive market. It's got great things and some assets. But you also have to let gas propel, gasoline propel cars in, and hybrids in. You know, they're, uh, I mean, they have another one now. You, you ever hear about the hydrogen? The problem with hydrogen has one fault. Somebody says it's better than everything. Got one fault. If it blows up, you're not recognizable. In other words, it doesn't happen much, maybe once a day in the nation. If the hydrogen car blows up, it's gone, you're gone. You, your wife looks at a tree and there's nothing but blood on the tree. She's like, I'm just well, These are serious problems. You want to be with me? I said, no, thanks, I don't want to. And I'll take electric. So, but isn't that something? Elon never called up and he never said that. I swear to you, he never said it. And he said, uh, or as Biden would say, oh no, I'm not kidding. You remember what he, he said? Yes, we've been threatened with war by Russia. No, no, I'm not joking. He always says I'm not joking. 
left him alone. No, no, I'm not joking. I don't know if anybody understands that, but he's a weird dude. I'll tell you, they go to the other one. To the military was outstanding in the military. Then he came out and went to Yale Law School. And uh, he and his wife were like top, top students. And I sort of picked them a little bit for the brain. We had a lot of great people. We have a lot of great people that were in that group. Any one of them would have been fantastic. But JD did a great job the other night. He's uh, the guy that he went against. You ever hear a guy call himself a knucklehead? In I mean, he's the biggest liar. He lied about everything. And how come he went to China 28 times? He went to China, you know, nobody asked him that one question. I kept saying, somebody asked him the question, why was he in China 28 times? <laughs> There's a guy has got some problems. By the way, if you think she's all right, she's not. I think she's worse than him too, actually. But he went to China 28 times and I'm waiting for somebody to ask him that question. It won't be the fake news, I can tell you that. It won't be, no. it won't be those I will not allow California politicians to get away with their plan to impose a 100% ban on the sale of gas-powered cars and trucks in this. That will be ended in the first day. That will be ended. These people, it's unbelievable. To bring jobs, factories, and wealth racing back to our shores, we will have a 15% made in America corporate tax. In other words, you have to make your product in America. Remember, I brought it down to 21% from almost 40%. Everyone said, there's no way you'll be able to. I had to get the tax to Congress, if you believe it. It's the greatest tax cut, the biggest tax cut, and regulation cuts. The most regulations ever cut by a president, by, I think, three or four times, actually. But we also, which I think is actually more important. I, I asked a lot of the big executives of the biggest companies, what was more important, the tax cut, where we took them from almost 40% to 21%? or the regulation cuts. Every single one of them said the regulation cuts, which actually surprised me. But it was the regulation. But I got you down to 21. And 21 is highly competitive. You know, we just do that in countries. We can't take our businesses in two seconds. It's not like, oh, gee, you know, you're not going to give them and they're going to sit there. They don't care about our country. Many of, them, many of them aren't even from America. They're not from the US. They're, you know, international business people, very smart. And they will leave here in two seconds if they can get something substantially. So I came up with this idea. So now I have your 21, brought you all the way down. And I said, if you make your product here, you don't have to pay 21, you can pay 15. And people, people called me from all over the planet. I got calls from the top guys on Wall Street. Who the hell gave you that idea? That's so good. And I oftentimes say, it's like the paperclip. Somebody came up with the idea for a paperclip 100 years ago. They look at it, and everybody looked at it and said, why the hell didn't I think of that? It's like the same thing, right? And for those who don't make their product in America, they'll be forced to pay stiff tariffs for the privilege of competing with our cherished companies. And we will take in hundreds of billions of dollars in tariff to the benefit of American citizens and pay off debt, or we're going to take care of our know, we owe 35 trillion dollars. Yeah. We're going to start cutting it down very quickly. We'll be able to with growth. We call it growth. But we're going to do that. We're going to protect these companies with tariffs. Remember this. In many years, many decades, China never paid 10 cents. And what they did to our country was incredible. I took in hundreds of billions of dollars in tariffs and taxes from China. I don't think they like me, but actually I like them. And we actually had a very good relationship, President Xi and myself. Somebody said, what kind of a man is he? He's a fierce person. He is. He's a very smart guy. I hate to say brilliant, because every time I call him brilliant, the president, he said the president, well, he is a brilliant guy. He's got 1.4 billion people. He rules it with an iron fist. And the press gets upset when I say he's a smart man. I would think he's a smart man, but actually, 
He's somebody that we can't, the, the worst people are the enemies from within. The sleazebags, like a guy that you're going to elect to the Senate. Shifty Adam Schiff. He's a sleazebag. This guy. No, no, he's a major lowlife. And because of the fact that, you know, they said millions and millions of ballots someplace. They send them all over the place. California, you don't have anything like a voting booth. They take ballots, they just send them all over the place. They come back and they say, oh, somebody won by five million votes. And it's so corrupt, so corrupt. But you're going to have Shifty Adam Schiff, one of the true, I know him well, because he conceived of the Russia hoax, right? The Russia, Russia, Russia hoax. He is a bad person, he's a sick person. Not a stupid guy, but he's a sick puppy, that guy. When we get in, we're gonna have to work on elections. We need, we need borders, and we need fair elections, and we're gonna work on it. But she is doing a great job, and she says I'm setting all sorts of records. GOP Chair, California, Jessica Patterson. Jessica, thank you very much. Thank you. Great job. Does really good job. And somebody else who is so fantastic. He's tough. He's a sheriff. And he's so smart. Very pissed And he had the most beautiful family I've ever seen. Like, everybody's like a perfect specimen. I said, Sheriff, you're great, but your family looks even better than you. And I liked him from the moment I met him, and I talked to him a little bit, because this was not an easy one to pull off. Let me tell you, we had a lot more people than some people thought. A lot of people thought this was what we were going to have, but a lot of people said maybe we'd have 10,000, maybe 20,000. But they didn't say 100,000. But he pulled it off. And he pulled it off because he's tough, and he's smart, and he's proud of his state and his country. Chad Bianco. Thank you. Thank you, Chad. What a family, though. Look at the family. Thank you. Great. Another man who wrote a song that went to number one on all the lists. You saw it? We put it. That's right. He said, Tom McDonald. It's Tom McDonald. Thank you, Tom. It's a great song, too. I was honored by it. You know, he did the song, and I didn't know Tom as well as others, and now I know him very well, but he did the song and went to number one on every single list. So, and another man is here, and I thought the movie was great. Dennis Quaid is here. I think you have to like it. You did a beautiful job. Thank you. And a very rich guy, he owns this piece of land, and he's been after me for three years. Please use it as you love yourself. He's an unbelievable patriot, an unbelievable Republican, but you know what? That's less important. He loves our country. Al and Betty, we have to say, Hagen, where's Al? Thank you, Al. Nice property, Al. I used to be in the business. Very nice. <laughs> Beautiful. Thank you, Al. And Steve Hilton is here, who's been on television doing a fantastic job. Where's Steve? Where's Steve? He's around. And we have a lot of other people. We have a lot of congressmen. We have some senators, but I've had it. That's enough of this stuff. <laughs> but I also want to send our love to all of the people back east who are recovering from two really devastating storms, hurricanes. Our hearts are with those who lost a loved one or a home. And that was a rough, that was a rough one. God bless them all. Kamala Harris is uh, mostly incompetent. She didn't do a good job. She's got to do a good job, and she didn't. But the most radical left vice president in American history, that's what she's known for. She did so bad in so many different ways, and we're going to get on to 
a much more pleasant subject. It's called the revitalization of our country. We have a, we have a situation in our country where we're not going to let people continue to destroy it. California has been horribly mismanaged. Nothing has been managed worse than water. Do you know water? It sounds simple. Oh, water. What the hell is water? I was with Devin Nunes. Did anyone ever hear of Devin Nunes? He got big awards for what he did. He's very brave. He's the one that figured out the Russia, Russia, Russia hoax with Jim Jordan, the great Jim Jordan. Two great guys. He's now running Truth and doing a very good job. Truth. Get under Truth. But Devin, I'm riding up to California and we're going up toward the north and we look at this land. I said, why oh, is it all so barren? And then right in the middle of it, you have like this little green spot that's so beautiful, so vibrant. He said, because they have no water. I said, oh, I didn't know you had a drought. Do you have a drought? No. We take all of our water way up north and we route it into the Pacific Ocean. So instead of coming down to past the farms where you take the farms, I mean, you had thousands and thousands of acres that was dead bone dry. And they tell me, farmers told me it's the finest land in the country. It's, it's, it's like Iowa land. It's the finest land in the country, but they have no water. Artificially, they reroute it because they want to save as a fish. Delta stuff. And it's not just to this area. By the way, the Delta smelt is so extremely bad. Especially since it has no water. You know, they think they have a fish, and their way of saving the fish is not to give it water. Somehow that doesn't. Happen. But you have a little delta smell. But you have other areas, so it's not like to this area only. And millions and millions of gallons of water over a short period of time gets pumped right into the Pacific Ocean. They have like a giant faucet, like you sink, except a thousand times bigger. It takes one day, they turn it. It's a big valve, it goes over, and the water pours, by the thousands of gallons, it pours into the Pacific Ocean, which for the Pacific is like a drop, just like a drop. And if we let that, if they turn that faucet the way it should be, it's been that way for years. And I went to your governor, he said, well, the hard part is the federal government. It was actually the Department of Commerce. And I got it worked out at the Department of Commerce. Within two months, everything was done. Then I went to see Gavin Newsom. And they didn't want to do it. They had all sorts of, you know, reasons, nonsense. They use the environment. Everybody uses the environment to stop things. But we're not going to let that happen because it was for You know, I think these guys actually hate our country. Fire them. With your vote this November, we are going to defeat this yeah. radical left country destroyer, her and him, and we're going to finish what we so brilliantly started. We have so many different things, and yet, you know, we're very consequential. You know how I know that? Because only consequential presidents can shut up. You know that? That's right. I just got no problem sleeping on the beach. If I slept on the beach, <laughs> 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 Secret Service would be too happy. So, kids, I want to go to sleep on the oh, beach. Hey, oh, hey, hey. How do you sleep in front of the media? The cameras are rolling and he's... he's and you know the amazing... He's out cold within two or three minutes. I could have a I toss and turn at night. I sweat, I toss and turn thinking about things. How am I gonna get China for what they're doing? How am I gonna do this? I toss and turn and toss and turn. I then wake up and then I go to work and then I go late to bed. I toss and turn. He goes to the beach, he lays down and he falls asleep within two minutes. He's stone cold out. They're always showing him pictures. He's stone cold out. I consider that actually quite amazing. I'd like to have some of it, not all of it. I'd like to have a little bit of it. Maybe he could sell it. We would, because if he could, he would do it. I probably. We will quickly become energy independent, and we will crack, 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 and drill, baby. Yeah! Yeah! Drill! Your energy prices will be cut.
came in 12 months. And remember what I said, California. You're going to have so much water, you're not going to know what the hell to do with it. They're going to call me. Remember about Winnie when I used to do this about Winnie? They're going to call me in the White House. And they're going to say, sir, please, please, we have too much water. Please, sir, please, we have too much water. Right now, you don't have any water. Artificial. It's artificial. Sir, please, can we see you? We have far too much water. I will stop outsourcing and turning the U.S. into a manufacturing superpower. And I will end the war in Ukraine, stop the chaos in the Middle East. And I will prevent very definitely World War III. We're very close to World War III. Very, very close. Are they okay, Ben? Trump! 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 Oh, somebody fainted. Take your time, doctor. Doctor? Come on. Is there a doctor? Doctor in the house. Take your time, please. Take your time. With refrigerators, could you believe it? With air conditioners. And our police are told to stand back. They're not going to stand back, and we're going to indemnify them against any problems they have federally. We will end all sanctuary cities, and in California, we're going to get rid of those sanctuaries. The cities to protect criminals. We will strengthen and modernize our military. We will build a missile defense shield. And it will all be made in the USA and a lot of it right here in California. And with your help, from now until Election Day, we will redeem America's promise and we will take back the nation that we love. November 5th will be the most important day in the history of our country. America wealthy again. We will make America healthy again. We will make America strong again. We will make America proud again. We will make America safe again. And we will make America. Hello， 各位大家好，未讲天下
白衫長喺度同大家報道，我哋依家咧就係春嗰個集會已經完咗啦，咁我覺得目測好似都有兩三萬喎，好似啲人海好勁喎，勁過好,好多 rally 喎，咁但係咧我哋而家散會咧，我哋而家等緊啲、呃、穿梭巴士去翻呢、這個。嗰、那個停車場嗰度去 pick up 架車啦，咁啊、呃、應該依家嗰個人龍咧都可能要個零鐘啦，咁我哋依家就誒喺呢個即係草地度先坐啦，等啲人龍散去之後咧，先至去去搭 shuttle 嘅，咁咧大家可以睇下，你睇呢度仲有幾多人啊？你睇幾多鋪頭？幾多鋪頭喺度？係啊，嗰度啲侵嘅係啲鋪頭嚟嘅，咁咧。就好多人，頭先仲多人啦、啊、嚇，咁、啊、但係你睇依家都唔弱啊，誒覺得呢度食嘢嘅 ，OK， 即係啲人咧就有啲 booth 喺度賣嘢食，跟住後面咧就係啲 food food truck 嚟嘅 ，OK， so it's still very， uh, 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 there's still a lot of activity， right？ 嗱、啊，咁跟住咧，如果大家見到咧，個 palm palm trees 後面咧就有啲呢、這個警車嘅。誒嗰啲誒燈啦，嗰啲警車警車燈啦，喺度閃下閃下，咁嗰度咧，嗰度就係啲人咧喺度排緊隊，等緊上呢一個穿梭巴士噶啦。咁誒、呃、非常之虛撼啦嚇。拜登有冇啲咁？拜登 Harris Walls 有冇啲咁嘅場面啊？係咪啊？你哋嗰啲左交即係咧？我又唔想插左左交，你知我不嬲都對左交好仁慈嘅，但係咧，係咪左交你哋醒下啦？你哋你哋 Harris 同 Walls 幾時有啲咁嘅場面啊？真係真係 nowhere to be seen 啦，係咪啊？唔會冇你哋唔會有咁樣樣啦，係咪啊？醒啦，唔該你哋邊個仲投民主黨呢啲咧？係賣國賊 ，OK？ 你哋係中意咧？我哋啲社會打家劫舍啊！啊！呢、这個治安啊，誒、呃，即係唔好啊！你哋係相信將嗰啲財產咧、啊，係、呃、再度分配咧、啊，俾啲唔 deserve 呢啲財產嘅人嘅 ，OK？ 你哋係你哋係賣國賊 ，OK？ 你哋係誒，即係拆毀社會嘅人 ，OK？ 你哋再投呢個民主黨，再投左派又唔該你哋，你哋嗰啲咧假仁假義、仁義道德嘅嘢咧，我都即係。接受嘅其實我都支持嘅，但係係咪真係啊？係咪真係平權啊？係咪啊？個問題個問題唔係個問題唔係我哋反對左派平權啊！個問題係左派根本就冇平權，左派就根本就借平權嘅名義嚟到係去將啲族群打誒、呃、分化同打壓，係咪？即係呢係假平權啦、啊，仲要係真分化啦。OK 嚇、啊、話到尾嚇、啊，真係好令人不齒咯～系咪啊？你哋啲 Harris Walls 有冇有冇咁嘅場面啊？係咪啊？有冇啊？我諗你哋就算湊晒全國人出嚟，都未必有咁嘅場面啊。OK， 係咪啊？分分鐘 ，Dennis， 左交食屎啦，係啊，今時今日左交食屎啦。仲有呢，就係、是、呢、這個。